Good, Good morning. morning from Catch a Can. Mm -hmm. It's a little overcast out there. Very Alaska looking. Yeah, true. <laughs> Our Alaska weather has finally come. I think the high is supposed to be like 60 today. 56. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. We're in chilly. from uh, 7 to 1. Rain's supposed to clear up in the 10 o'clock hour, but we're going to grab some breakfast, mm -hmm. roll out, and see what we can accomplish in a few hours. Just a couple hours, exactly. <laughs> That's all I know. Let's do okay. it. Woo! Oh, friend, I don't think you're going to need those sunglasses today. Let's see if the coffee shop is open to grab a quick breakfast. Sounds like an airplane landing up here. We got the finest free pastries in all of Deck 3. Woohoo! <laughs> now we are ready to explore. Let's head to Deck 2. Full of coffee. <laughs> we'll explore very quickly. Fresh Alaska seafood. All right, back on board 12:30. Are they bringing that seafood on for us? Oh, this is one of those flat staircases I always have to be careful with. Yeah, big old truck full of Alaska seafood. Heck yeah. Oh, New Amsterdam is in port with us today, and I think Discovery Princess is down at the uh, Lake Berth 4. Well, I think we'll just wind our way this way over toward Mill Street, Mission Street, Creek Street. We're hearing reports of lots of salmon. There's the Lumberjack Show building. Oh yes, the Discovery Center, which is our go-to rainy day spot now. <laughs> there is Whale Park, and in the distance we can see Creek Street. Now this is going to be the happening spot in season. Oh yes, I see quite a few. All right, you guys, get to jumping. So the creek is thick with salmon for the first time ever that we've been here. We've done it. I guess sometimes uh, is it sea lions or seals have been coming up here to eat. Possibly oh, bears. I'll peek the other way down Creek Street. I think we'll make our way up to the salmon ladder, see if there's any excitement up there. Let's go up and find Married Man's Trail. Lane, it's Married Man something. Well, I forgot to count them, but it is quite a few steps up here before it turns into this nice boardwalk. Ah, we found everybody. Oh, there's a tour bus here. Yeah. Do we have any ladder excitement? All right, so we do have some in the water. Oh, yeah, they're jumping. Oh, there we go. I, I spy some salmon action over there. Taking the easy way up. You a smart one you are. Yeah, given a choice between the path on the left and the path on the right, I would choose the path on the right myself. It's just like waiting for the glacier to calve. Waiting for the salmon to jump. Yeah, you can see a lot of them right down there at the entrance, right in the middle, trying to get in, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They should number them and let us root for them and place bets on which ones we think can get to the top. That, that'd be a good racket. <laughs> There's a little jump. You can do it. Oh, nice. Go, go, go. This is like exciting. Better than TV. We're going to continue on in this direction. Oh, I see the tour bus left. Here's another angle on the whole operation. Oh, there's a good lead. You can kind of see some of them hovering over in the, the resting waiting zone before they make another attempt. And that's true. Hey! So there is the end of Married Man's Trail jump across the street up here you can see the final destination of this well not final but you know the ultimate local destination of the salmon where they can then continue up this nice calm body of water yeah folks out there fishing i'm pretty sure he'll catch something today <laughs> yeah i think at this point guaranteed he'll catch him some tired salmon Aww. oh then the going gets a little rough again and then it gets a little rougher. 
there is the road up to Cape Fox Lodge. I guess this is called the Salmon Walk. Is that the official word? Yeah. Cape We've Fox. never really come and strolled over here before. This stretches a lot further than I thought. I'm seeing signs for a fish hatchery, a city park, a totem heritage center, some kind of trailhead. That's the Harris Street Bridge, which I guess is a continuation of the Salmon Walk. Got folks taking advantage down here, getting them some fresh fish, fresh fish. We've gone off road here at Freeman Street. I mean, the road's right there, but you know, here we are, off roading it. Oh, four wheel drive territory. Now we can get a bear's eye view of what's going on down here. Hopefully, not literally. I mean, cool if we saw one, but, um, hmm. Yeah, we're right here. We just take a swim? No, I think it'd be cold. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Because I know you can, uh, you can snorkel here, but it looks like if you bring your own gear, you could just make your own snorkeling excursion and just, whoop, there you go. I mean, you'd have a current, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you'd end up down at the salmon ladder trying to get back up. Help! Somebody even left us some line. I guess we could grab a salmon for dinner if we felt like it. Cool. Had a lot this week. <laughs> you did. Ooh, I don't see a whole lot of salmon down here, but I see what might be salmon berries. Of course, they're across the water, so I'm not um, going to go over there. <laughs> this is the treacherous path we would have to cross to go um, enjoy some salmon berries, so we'll just admire you from afar. Oh, it is very shallow right there. Okay, we got some, some cherubins that are trying to help him back out into the deep water. There he goes. <laughs> We'll make more babies. <laughs> You're swimming the wrong way, but maybe go rest up. Yeah, I didn't realize how shallow it was yeah. in this place. Oh, bye. Oh, yeah. oh, he's Lost him in the glare. Back to the road. The adventure continues. <laughs> Let us continue following Park Avenue away. So, walking in the same direction we've been going this whole time. We're doing new stuff. Yes, <laughs> there is a totem museum up here I'm curious about. You know us, we are always looking for new things, new ideas, because we love Alaska and we want to see as much as we can. Now, if you're just looking to make a circle and head back to town, I think you can cut down woodland, but we are looking for totem. Oh, I like Herring Way, Salmon Row, <laughs> Salmon Row, that's funny. Oh, we've come across more water. Are they jumping in this water? They were a minute ago, yeah, I saw two of them. Nice, yeah, there's a sign here that says Totem Center, so they actually are directing you down Herring Way to get there. But let's look at some water. Whoosh. Yeah, there are multiple opportunities to come check out salmon. So I guess on occasion you'll see some jump jumps here. I guess maybe this is where all that water is winding its way around to. Could be. Maybe. I'm not familiar with the geography of the water, but this could also be like a destination after the salmon ladder. So let's follow the signs down Herring Way. Oh yeah. Oh, the rains have started. Good thing we're kind of heading to an indoor destination. Well, I feel like we just cut through somebody's yard, but we found the totem center. Okay, we were just following the signs and then the road over here had a log across it. I think that's the way you're supposed to get here. Maybe we were supposed to straddle that log. Yeah, I think that's the entrance that the sign wanted us to take. Yeah, you also could have walked a little further and come in that road, uh-huh, across the bridge. Maybe that would have been better. Yes, coming in across this bridge would have been the smarter move. There's our official information. So $6 per adult, 8 to 5 daily. Well, this is the halfway point of the Salmon Walk. And they have a free downtown shuttle every 20 minutes. Woo! Welcome to the Totem Heritage Center. I guess we will join the ticket line. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Even the doors are hurt. Okay, we've got some nice warmth in here. I shed my coat um, a while ago. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to learn some stuff. Nice and photography is definitely encouraged. This is a robe. Check out these giant poles right at the entrance here. Oh, that's cool. Baby beaver face. Ooh, got a little glare on your beaver face. Oh, cool. Oh, rattles. I like all this colorful stuff happening over here. Let's see about like types of drums, maybe. Masks happening over there. 
masks of the northwest coast. Smoking. Raven stealing the sun. We've heard that story a couple of times on some totem tours and things in the past. Well, this is fascinating already. I know it's like sometimes those sound not a museum person, but um, this is my kind of museum. Look at this detail. 2022 featured Native Arts Studies program instructors and students. Here's some tools, sharp things. I could use those to open some munch packs, maybe. Oh, we've got some poles behind glass in here. Maybe a little, not sure if it's, you know, climate controlled or whatever you would say to help preserve them. You know, the detail, you can see the wear. They might have just put this glass up so people won't touch this stuff, actually. Well, there's the free shuttle bus out the window. Oh yeah, they've got signs that say do not touch. So apparently this used to just be open. Wow. There's a few more cases of tools and things. Oh, looks like a slingshot. Oh no, that's a um a pokey. What's it called? Does it tell me? It's a halibut hooks. Oh, that's not what I thought that was. Number one? Cool. Yeah, here I was thinking about some kind of cloth working tool. Okay, this is a dance paddle. That's about the end of this room. Let's sneak back out to the center. Ah, they do have restrooms. And art you can admire while people go to the restrooms. Let's see if we can escape out this blurry back door. Oh, that's blurry. Wow, look at this cool special effect we have going on. Ah, uh, oh, that hurts my eyes. There we go. Well, we've come out of the back door. There's where they keep their mirror D's. What's up? Um, yeah, this one, I think, they said it was whale on the back door, yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, it says right there. <laughs> Diving whale. I can read. Cool, a little totem pole down here. But this was a good um, rainy day diversion. Even if it's not raining, this is fascinating. I think we're going to head back in the direction of Stedman Street. Ooh, look at that salmon. That looks yummy. You've done very well for yourself. Just out here taking deep breaths. <laughs> you can smell. It smells like cedar to me. I don't know. It it's, smells amazing. It's, it's so fresh and clean. It's amazing forest. That's what the <laughs> smell is called. But Just bottle it and sell it at Bath and Body Works. I was going to say, they already have it on those little things you hang in your car, you know? Pine <laughs> tree? No, it's nothing like that. They got a playground with a barnacly whale over there. Wow, giant totems. Really, everywhere you walk in this town, you will find totems. Oh, that's tall. Also out here on Deer Mount is the official sign. So we're gonna follow Deer Mount back to Stedman and be in the Creek Street area again. This is probably the easiest approach if you're looking to come straight here is down Deer Mount. Well, you would not want to forget your keys in your car at the bottom of your steps or have to make 20 trips up with groceries here. Yow. Oh, hey, I found my honey right there. <laughs> Back out to Stedman Street, hang a right, boom. Well, that's cool. One thing all this vertical real estate gives you is the opportunity to make um, really awesome looking yards and fountains and things. Yeah, we can see the ships over there in the distance. You can see cars here in the foreground. Oh, I do see the top of Princess peeking up over there on the right. Making my way downtown. Oh, yep, <laughs> even just follow the signs for Totem Heritage Center. New York Cafe, New York Hotel and Cafe, 1925. Re-established 1991. Oh, here's the Stedman Street Bridge. Oh, we got a little friend having lunch time here at Creek Street. You are in a good zone, friend. This is like a buffet right down here. Like 18 pictures of the ceiling. Yeah, there's never too many pictures. Bye. We've moved down a little bit now. Oh, you can see Dolly's. All the hubbub here on Creek Street. Let us cross the street. Keep our eyes peeled for any nature out here in the direction of the ship. Oh, that's nature. Yeah, I think that's our same little friend we just saw on the other side. He escaped. He's a, uh oh, they found me. He escaped again. Uh, where did our friend go? He picked a fine time to leave me, you seal or sea lion. I really wish I, I know the ear flaps, but I'm never harbor close enough. Seal. Oh, harbor seal. Okay. 
So my Kenny Rogers joke did land after all. <laughs> Let's see, how many bad jokes can I make while we stand here? I see some people fishing down here, but I've just never understood the allure of it. The allure. Okay. Maybe that, that was one. That joke was a little out of line. <laughs> Two. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Two's enough. Yeah. Here at the corner of Mill and Bowden is the famous salmon market. Never been here. That's true. Anytime we see something, we're like, hey, we haven't done that. Let's do it. Oh, they have reindeer, octopus, kelp pickles. Whoa. Oh, it's like a whole little mall. So there's polar treats, Alaskan snacks. Yes, I can be tempted by Alaskan snacks. Jerky. They got blueberry tea, jellies. Oh, they're making kelp salsa. Why did I not know that was a thing? They do have samples. Yeah. Salmon jerky. That is tasty. Uh, yeah. Potent. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Is that reindeer sausage? I do like that. It's kind of like, not Slim Jimmy, you know, it's got that whole preserved meat feel, but it's good. Santa's gonna be so mad with me. Okay. This is a gourmet appetizer now. He's broken out the kelp pickles. Cream cheese, salmon, kelp pickle on a Ritz cracker. Cheers. Down the hatch. I have never had a kelp pickle. That's the new experience here for me, I think. <laughs> so all of that was delicious, update. <laughs> There's the official advertisement for the snack shop. Oh, you bear. Who painted your eyeballs? You got it, Super cute. Salmon Market. Oh, I see. You can get your salmon and more from Alaska Snacks. They're closed from July 29th to August 16th. That's why we're here. Gotcha. Well, that is not going to be a thing, but we can at least kind of peek in there. Oh, back out into the world then. Let's come hang out in the park for a while, why don't we? We're just doing loops down here of our favorite destinations now. They got a whole can of salmon right there if you want some. <laughs> yeah, totem poles all through here, of course. Now we can just chillax here on a whale bench and breathe some fresh air. Yeah, today's beautiful. It's overcast, but not rainy. The temperature is perfect. Mm -hmm. Really nice day just to walk around and see what all Ketchikan has to offer. Yeah, I think it's mid 60s today it ended up being, yeah. so didn't even need a coat or anything. Well, I have three layers on, but we won't discuss that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, I found some flowers. All right, let's head back in the direction of these large vessels. Yeah. Any nature here last minute? Yeah, there's like little tiny fish underneath the boat. I just saw them and they got scared. <laughs> you scared all the fish. Shadows. Oh, well, welcome home again. did some clothes swapping out. I had to get in shorts mode. Uh, it's lunchtime. It is time to try off the grill. Grab some of these burgers. Now I got the cheese and onion crunch, which is a cheeseburger with onion ring and barbecue sauce. They didn't put barbecue sauce on it, but there is a barbecue sauce pump that I could do it myself down here. D has gone classic cheeseburger, no bun, added some little toppings on there. I did add the barbecue sauce there in the middle of my onion ring. Add some pickles from the thing. Sort of a minimal toppings bar. The seasoning on the fries kind of looks guys-ish though. Seasoning on the fries is good. Now it's not the classic old hand cut looking fries, but seasoning, mm-hmm. Dig into the burger now though. And now inside. So we've settled in here at Ocean Plaza where it's a little quieter. Burger first impressions. 
So the burger patty itself is very, very similar to Guy's. I would say it's pretty much the same thing. I didn't have a bun, so I have nothing to compare it to. Fries are the same as they are on all the ships. Toppings bar is definitely different, and they don't have like the different sauces, like the donkey sauce that you would expect. But otherwise, it's pretty much Guy's. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> and it was good, it was very tasty. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll say good as Guy's. How about that? So yeah, the only things, like Dee said, you might miss are donkey sauce, because I know that's a big thump on Guy's burgers, but I don't know, and the toppings bar, you know, but the toppings bar on Guy's keeps getting less and less these days anyway. They keep taking stuff off, but pickles, mm -hmm. really good. Different. That's really the only topping I tried. Yeah, the pickles tasted different than normal Guy's pickles. I liked them better. You got better pickles on here. <laughs> we'll approve, we'll approve, good as Guy's. Question mark? Now we're doing office trivia, rock, paper, scissors, urban myths trivia. Now it is time for the platinum and diamond party. They've just flung the doors open. In we go. 2 p.m., yes. Yeah, we got some guitar tunes happening in here. This video, I'm sure most of you have seen, but those of you who are first time here, get used to it, you're gonna see it for about another 50 years. But that's okay. What is family? Well, for us, it's you. Spirit, bride, bride. Luminosa! Yeah. And a celebration. Let's give all our amazing seat offs with a few general applause. And of course, we have just left the beautiful port of Kachikan. So our captain is up on the bridge, getting us to get over to uh, go to Victoria tomorrow evening. Now time for a few tunes. We all need somebody. We It is time for dinner, yeah. It's formal night, but we don't feel like being formal, so we're just gonna go to the buffet, and then we're gonna go see America Rocks. Okay. We haven't seen that in a while. And then we have to pick between 80s rock and glow oh, and karaoke competitions. That's so, a tough decision. We'll see, I don't know. Yeah, but dinner for now. <laughs> yes. Um, VAFP parties are dangerous, that's all I remember. <laughs> um, we came back, took a little nap, we needed a nap, yes. Yeah, we're ready for food. Mm -hmm. So, let's roll out. Let's go. Woohoo! Good night. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night, y'all. Hello, Buffet. Oh, there's our slightly glary menu. Dinner has been acquired. I know I got some potato salad, chicken, fish. I don't even know what that oysters. was. Oh, oysters, potatoes, and bread. Watermelon and olives. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like a summer squash salad, chicken, broccoli, and a potato. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> It'll be alright. Ooh, desserts. We got the coffee cream cake, coconut cream pie, malted chocolate hazelnut cake, cookies and fruit. Well, I got a little sampling of everything. There was also like a key lime kind of cake up there. Woohoo! We'll share this with Dee. <laughs> so cool. pressure out of there. Well, they got Tunes and Ocean Plaza. We are heading into the Luminosa Theater for America Rocks. Now uh, they've got a face painting station up there on stage. We are ready to rock.
at Kuroka Loki going on here at Ocean Plaza. to find a friend we didn't even turn the lights on because he's sitting here reading by the bedside lamp are you looking for shore excursions he's looking at skagway so you're a little bit behind the itinerary <laughs> there friend but that is super cute got his little hat on <laughs> i don't know if we've had one like that fancy before uh-uh good, good night. night we are losing an hour of time which means it is not 11 p.m midnight. it is currently midnight in our brains so we're going to bed. Yes. But kept it casual this evening. Not even a sock of the day. It was just black oh, footy no. sock. It's fine. So what do we do? Oh, we I guess. America Rock. Yeah, there we go. Really good. I haven't seen that show as much as like Epic all Rock. of the other ones. Yeah. Sure. But this cast is so good. Like mm -hmm. that show, I was really enjoyed it. And I like the fact that they have um, like the bands from around the ship and some of the other singers um, in it. And so it's live music the whole time, which is really cool. I don't know. It was great. Yeah, it incorporates a lot of other musical acts, which yeah. is great to see. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, well, dinner at the buffet, we won't really have to linger on. It was pretty good was overall, good. actually. Yeah, very I mean, solid. A lot of the stuff tasted kind of like it does in the dining room, so <laughs> I was excited faster. by that. Yeah. Much faster. <laughs> uh, and then we just sat for a little bit of karaoke and karaoke competition, mm -hmm. so fun evening. Yeah. One random pet peeve that I always have, which I don't remember, I don't know how much editing Jay put in the video, is that oh. when rules are established for a competition and that those rules are bent, it just, it's just a peeve of mine. So, anyway, because it was established that there were going to be eight randomly drawn singers in mm -hmm. the karaoke competition. So everybody's name went in a bowl. And when those eight singers were polled and the crowd, I guess, the uh, crowd favorite was not polled, they demanded that a ninth singer be added to the pot against the rules. I didn't hear them demand, but I guess it happened yeah, it was, behind the scenes. I think every time that she took the bowl over to a group, there was a section of the audience oh, that would yell this person's name to gotcha. put them in the competition. So, a little, little unfair slant on that. And then it ended up being a tiebreaker, and we, we kind of didn't stay. Yeah, I didn't stay, because they're going to sing again. It's late. And, and it's late, we got to go to bed. So, so we don't even whoever know who wins, won. congratulations. Congrats. Everybody did really well. Yeah. And it's all in good fun. You know, no hard feelings. But it always just peeves my nerves when you <laughs> we, you bend the rules that you've established in a competition or anything. I think it makes everybody a little I know. Upset, yeah. Except for the people who are asking for it. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> We're going to bed now. Yeah. So... Good night. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you then. Bye. Bye.